Hey guys, Justin here. I am in Taiwan Station right now, and today is another crazy day. I'm running an errand for my dad, also again going to Shenzhen once again. I've been to Shenzhen on Monday, and today's Thursday. We're going again, but I'm going on my own this time, and we'll try something new. B8 straight to Hengyun Y Port. I will try to use Hengyun Y Port this time to go across to Shenzhen. Let's do it. All right, got up here, and this is one of the craziest routes going to Hengyun Y Port. Today is actually a weekday, so that's why services is apparently 15 minutes per bus, which according to the timetable is actually 30, but apparently every 15 minutes there's one bus. And then yes, this is a very express route. Going straight up north to very very north to Hengyun Y Port, which will connect with Liantang checkpoint of Shenzhen, which there is another metro stop there for Shenzhen. So that's why we'll be taking the metro after that. I will film some videos before I go to the errand part. And apparently this Wi-Fi doesn't load. Yeah, this Wi-Fi doesn't load apparently. But I just want to show you guys the map with the Wi-Fi. But apparently this Wi-Fi sucks and doesn't load. Yep, this Wi-Fi sucks. Ignore that. It's like perfectly full power, but it just doesn't load. This is the 1245 service, which this thing only has service on weekdays from 9 to 1. So no more services after that. So this is the second to last service. On weekends, it's full day service, but on Monday to Friday, it's only up to 1 o'clock. This is the second to last one. I meant to actually take the, uh, the, the next one, but whatever. And here we are, straight out from Taiwan Station to Hengyun Y Port. Here's the map. We will have some loops first. We're just there. We will loop around how the uh, Tima Line track goes up to Shekmun. Then we'll take the Tolo Highway very quick over to Taipo. A few stops inside Taiwan, I mean Taipo. And then after that, no stops all the way up to the port, which is right there. All the way, and then we have, if it shows, apparently it doesn't show, no, this thing doesn't even show Shenzhen on the map, what the hell? But Shenzhen is literally just across that line, so. Let's do it. This is a city bus route. Let's go. The whole thing should take around an hour, but only 15 stops for the full journey. And uh, I doubt there will be a lot of people taking it along the way. This is the second stop ready at Chekin Temple Station. Chekin Temple. The next station is Chinchek Estate, which is at the front. Next stop, Chinchek Estate. Hong Kong Cultural. But unfortunate is that they, they are already actually have the plan to actually demolish the Heritage Museum, which is again another ridiculous decision. But uh. Alright, let's see anyone boarding. Now technically I actually want to say is taking East Rail Line is the fastest way to go across the border with Low Wu or Lokma Chao Station. But at the same time it's the most expensive way. Because it costs $40. I mean, it costs very, very expensive price to actually take East Rail Line to go use Low Wu or Lok Ma Chao. Well, if you actually take buses for these routes, it's just $16 for this route. So, full journey is $16 all the way to Hengyun Y Port, and taking Shenzhen Metro is so cheap. So, that's why you just take Shenzhen Metro back to what you, where you want to go, and you can basically have a cheap price. But, uh, of course, fastest is Low Wu and Lok Ma Chao, which is the most popular choice. We also have Shenzhen Bay Port, which also have routes in Tun Moon and all that area. Also, it's just around $16 to $17. Hayatam, Zhang Dai Uk. Next stop, Zhang Dai Uk. Xiaoyi Zhan, Zhang Dai Uk. We just travel on the main road. There are routes that will be actually looping inside all of that estate, which is terrible. Long wind bus. There were some changes to the long wind routes recently here around this Shatin area. So, 
which is very cool. I will try to actually film one of the A routes in the future with long wind. Locked it into the Wi-Fi finally successfully, which is ridiculously stupid, that Wi-Fi. Go, 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 go. Now hopefully this guy drives decently if... Next stop. Now unfortunately that again because it's actually AI generated for these city bus announcements, that's pronunciation is wrong. It's not JAT, it is J-A-T, but it's YAT MINGCHIN, okay, it's pronounced YAT. Okay, and people boarding. I don't, I don't know whether you get $2, I actually, no yeah, this, this route you also get $2, so technically you can't actually take $2 for this, which is just stupid. So, it will buy a typo, which is alright, not too bad. Hang on. Oh my gosh. Because here, like, because really, the one thing that's better by Perth buses is all of the ramps are auto, so that's why you just press the button. But here, all the buses are manual, so that's why the uh, the uh, driver has to come out every single time when there's a wheelchair going up. So that's why here in Hong Kong, the ramp will be only given to people that are using wheelchair. They're not going to be randomly putting down the ramp for like baby prams or even some random people that actually have a little bit of a uh, walking problem so it's just wheelchairs that will be actually able to use the ramp Next stop, Regional Riverside Hotel. This, this little intersection right here, this is the worst intersection. One of the deadliest rivers, I mean, the deadliest intersection because one time a deadly crash happened which killed like two of them, two people, I think. It's crazy because some of the lights are having some, basically some of the lights instructions are unclear that whether you can turn or not able to turn and then some drivers just turn when they are not supposed to and it just boom. And uh, this is actually a designated bus because there are uh, luggage racks down there you can put your luggages because for crossing the border so that's why. You can put your luggages there and you want to go up to the top floor, upper deck and you can still having this camera to show you whether people are touching your crap. So hopefully I'll be safe up there in Shenzhen today. We're filming on my own, so that's why last time it was with my parents, so that's why it's a little safer. Very smooth right now, no problems. Next stop, Belay Gardens. I think that's the last stop. Or do we need to pass through Shekman? Oh yeah, we need to pass through Shekman because there's only five stops inside. That's the stop right there, Belay Gardens, no one there. So, because there are only five stops in Taipo. Yep. So, the 15th stop is Hong Yun White Port and then 10 to... Uh, not, is it 10? Yeah, 10 to 14 will be in typo, so we're until 9. This is number 8 coming up. Next stop, Shard City 1, Shard Tin. Next stop, A little we take Tolo Highway, that would be another... I want to say actually it's a cool section, but at the same time it's going to be boring because just basically highway, I might hopefully don't fall asleep there. Across the river is Sha Tin over there. Of course, this is also Sha Tin, but this is part of the Tunma line side, and that side is actually with the Israel line. What the hell? Why he decided to use this lane? You see, even the car in front already switched lanes. What the hell? 
Wow, this coach at the front. This coach at the front is murderous. Oh my gosh. And here we are, Shekman. At the front of Shekman. We have a stop at Shekman. That's an interchange stop. And after that, we will go straight to Taipo. But the thing is, the Taipo part is actually also murderous because it actually travels through the narrowest street inside Taipo. 86 of there can be. Alright, we have Shaolin City 1, which there should be people boarding, I think, because no, no things around. Egg over there, white egg over there. For 682, that thing is murderous. <laughs> There are there there is some enthusiast driver also driving these things uh, for the city bus contract up here in Maon Shan District and Sha Tin District. And since they ever they, when they ever actually get the six eight two shift, they already put it on Instagram saying that that's just dead dreadful. <laughs> because elderly people always want to have a like like has seats and not too crowded bus. So to do that, they're just cheating the fares by doing two dollars for their system and take six eight two for like one stop, which is stupid. <laughs> yeah, which is stupid because they whatever which whatever route they take, it will be two dollars for elderly because of the government is subsidizing subsidizing them. So that's why they end up always just choosing the most expensive route because then not too many people will take. Then they just most expensive route and two dollars that. Yeah, there's a six eight two here. That thing costs twenty plus if you want to go across the harbor. So end up we need to pay 20 plus and then the elderly can just pay two dollars and they just take their like, two stops <laughs> ended up just killing the driver because they need to stop like almost everywhere now so ended up taking this thing is over one hour and a half which i filmed with that last time which is miserable with ravana garden coming up for interchange stop of course no one will be taking this and then interchange to other things it's just taking other things and then interchange to this after that next stop typo now for Hern Yun Y port we also have B I know I have, I know we have B7 for City Bus. B7 is just a fan lane, that's a short trip. And it's full day service every day, so that's why you can just take that one. To go to Fan Lane Station and you can connect with Israel Line. We also have let's check B. Uh, that goes to Hern Yun Y. B7 is Hern Yun Y. Oh, B7 is to Sheng Shui via Fanning Station, which is stupid. B7X is also operating, but that's just an express thing. Where the hell that thing is? Oh, from Sheng Shui Express over. Instead of like B7 needs to go via Fanning. And we have the B8 here, which we're taking. And we also have B9 by KMB, which is to Tun Moon and Yun Long. And that's 682 on the outside. Murderous to Siu Sai Wan. Ah, yet some Guang Fu Chin. Let's stop. Guang Fu Estate. Xiang Jia Guang Fu Chun. That's Taipo. Next stop is Taipo. We we'll take the express path here. Alright, so for this route, you can actually, for all of the border things, I think only this one, yeah. Only this one, you can actually enjoy a discount if you do a return trip the same day after you go across the border. Unfortunately, on weekdays for this thing, it's just half day service, so it's technically not av allowed. Not available, to be honest. We'll take this express here now. Of the local routes, we'll take that roundabout. We're not gonna do that, so. Next is Taipo. Should be pretty quick here. But unfortunately, our maximum speed is also just 80. We cannot go above that because of the uh, restrictions of Hong Kong public transport. I don't think there are any change of fares. I think it's also just $16 even people are taking from Taipo, which is the, the stupid part. Yeah, I think it's also just no change in the fares. Yep. Oh, there are change of fares. Just kidding. There are change of fares. Ten dollars seventy for the people inside Taipo. <laughs> so yes, change of fares to ten dollars seventy. At least that's make more sense. And we have the two mile line track literally right next to us right now. 
Uh, no trains because terrible frequency. <laughs> have the express path going to Manshan Saikong which is over that way and we'll go to Taipo now we'll cross back over to the East Rail Line side now so we'll travel along the East Rail Line track now after we go over minibuses coming over on the other side there all these minibuses are so expensive but they're so fast from Taipo basically it's express all the way to Shekmun over there which costs like over ten dollars for that but which is so fast because it's literally just take the highway instead of actually taking like train tracks. You got green taxis over there. That's like the maximum part that they can go. They cannot go further than that. And across is Thai, uh, not Thai, University Station. No stops there, of course. turn left to go out and then go to race course and also Maliu Shui. Maliu Shui basically is just university station around. And here's the Tolo Highway. Okay, too fast so they need to slow down. Here's 100 kilometers per hour for the highway but unfortunately we can only do my 80 so Six seven three over there, showing straight to Hong Kong. Literally the longest one of all times, and one of the most expensive normal route for KMB. So literally from the top of the map all the way down to the bottom of the map, literally. Hong Kong Station and showing straight. Filmed that one one time. Terrible, terrible, terrible route. We have the train tracks list next to us right here. That's the East Rail Line and Science Park right there. They will hopefully pass the bill very soon. The plan has set to build W3, Jordan West Cullen Station. Our train. There that goes. That is uh, 38 over there. 39, so 37, 39, I think. Yep. Continue on Tolo Highway. Now, I've never tried Hunyun Wai Port. Hunyun Wai Port was a, is a very new border control point that recently opened up for passengers and people to go across. Before, it was only by cars, but now they've built a pedestrian crossing and an immigration control point for Hunyun White Port, so hence and hence all of these border routes now. There's also one route that I can actually finally film now, which is actually 79k of KMB. That one goes to Taku Lang, which is technically a closed area if you don't cross the border. Before, without Hunyun White Port, you, I won't be filming that thing because it's a closed area. But now with Hunyun White Port, 79k can be filmed because I can just go to Hunyun White Port and cross over. Now 79k doesn't go into Hunyun Wai Port bus interchange like this guy does. So it will stop still in the old terminus at Chung Yun Ha of Taku Lang, but there are now pedestrian underpass subway connecting with the control points. So that's why after you get off at Taku Lang terminus for 79k, just walk over to cross the border. So I can technically film that thing, 79k from Shen Shui Station but not accepted for request. of course at the end of the day I'm just gonna cross Low Wu again <laughs> not going to screw around with the stuff because it will be late again so that's why I wanna just cross Low Wu quickly go back considering I'm going to Hong Kong which is my stop and it's literally just East Rail Line so perfect 
and I will cross at 6 o'clock this time. Hopefully, it will be uh, 6 p.m. Hopefully, it's not going to be that packed like last time, which is stupid. Last time, it was literally at, I think, 7.30 and 8, 8 p.m., and everyone is packing the train. Hopefully, this time I can get a seat, but I, I doubted it. <laughs> Taipo is visible at the background with the buildings over there. That's Taipo. We'll get out from here, Taipo Market, Taipo Center, and Industrial Estate. Which five stops inside Taipo, and then another express section all the way to her new white port. Why, if you want to do the short trips, you have B7 connecting inside of Fanling and Shengshui. Because this thing actually will serve Taiwo Station, and then after Taiwo Station, it will go to her new white port, skipping Fanling and Shengshui, which is served by B7. Yep, we're getting out now, we'll go to Taipo. It's just a mid stop. If it doesn't stop at Taipo, we just continue on the highway. Later on, I think we will use Longshan Tunnel, which we have used last time on the 79X. But the announcement plays again. That's pretty stupid because considering no one will be getting off here, except if you pay $2. Again, just stupid. Selfish behavior taking this express route that is meant to be expensive and just get you to the border. And then you take $2 for these to cheat the fares because the government is subsidizing it. Alright, typo here. Here's Comfort Estate here, literally, right there. Bus is there, 72A, Tai Wai Station. It's one of the slowest route. <laughs> and made it to Typo. And we have a stop here. Anyone using? Yes, there is. B8. That's a lot of people. Oh. oh. Next stop, Kwang Fook Road. Next stop, Kwang Road. 307? That route can be trashed already. It basically can be discarded because it's just pointless. Literally just going to Central Ferry from Taipo, which right now East Rail Line is literally serving it. It's quite limited stops, that one, 307. Very limited stops. There's like two stops inside Taipo, one at the, uh, the tunnel interchange. And then across the harbor using Eastern Harbor Crossing, and there's just like three stops across inside Hub, inside Causeway Bay, and then go to Central right away. But it doesn't often interchange at Tate's Can Tunnel. I've tried it one time, I literally paid the full fare after getting off one bus, which is stupid. I thought you can actually interchange, but you cannot. So, uh, terrible route. You see, this is typo we need to pass through, off the narrowest streets. Also, it's getting off. Uh, hmm. A little tired already. And here's another stop. That's a lot of people. Basically, actually, this thing's mostly just basically for typo. Oh my gosh, freaking hell.
this is really slow here. E41 Sky City. Some of these have changed the terminus now. Wow, this driver is so lenient. Holy crap, this is not even close to the stop and then let that guy in. Holy moly. I've changed some of the terminus now. These are originally terminating at Asia World Expo. They're closing off the Asia World Expo bus terminus and then put them all into the Sky City, the new shopping center terminus. Two seven two X Express to Bangkok East Station. Recently changed to full day service. Not full day, like half day service. Hayatam Bohan Kill. Next stop, Pohyong Bridge. Oh, but as soon as I go over, I need to have freaking security checks again for the metro. Ugh. Hate the security checks. Every single city in China has security tech checks now. Uh, I mean, before actually every single place already has checks. But... But... But before one city, Shanghai, doesn't have, didn't have any security checks for the metro, but now they also have it now. So, which is, uh, yeah. but Shenzhen is definitely the strictest in terms of uh, security checks. I don't know what about what about filming is actually like block stopping people from filming, but I didn't get stopped. Literally, guards on the train didn't get didn't stop me. So hopefully this time's also fine. We turn left here. We don't need to go into the 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 Taipo Central area because it's uh, just express. So we try to touch as little stops as possible. Next stop, Lam Chun Riverside. Wow, the stop, man. Literally, there's a stop over there just across the bridge, and now we stop again. Yep, next stop is Taiwo Estate, which is just at the front over there. And then after that, we'll be heard in White Port. Bus is turning out. 73B going to Nat the Store Hospital. Hayatam Taiwo Chun. Next stop, Taiwo State. That's basically where Taiwo Station is. That's basically next to the Taiwo Station bus terminus, Taiwo bus terminus. So, which the train will pass through, Israel Line. What the hell is this car? You can literally stop another car already over there. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, just kidding. We're not going to the terminus. We're just stopping right here. Just kidding. I think the terminus is over that way somewhere. But we're just stopping on the on the on the road here, which is all right. People's running. This is the second to last service. There's one more coming up. Here's the sign, direct to Hunyun Wai Port, Lian Tang Express. But from this stop is really express because next stop is the terminus. Hayatam, Hunyun Wai Haungan. Next stop, Hunyun Wai Port. 
，下一站香园尾口岸。Back onto highway. Yep, back onto Tolo Highway. Is it Tolo Highway or is it Fanling Highway? I'm not sure about that one. But after that, it was straight to Hanyu Airport. Around 20 minutes express, no stops. Only 15 stops for this route, which is awesome. Oh my gosh, terrible minibus over there just passed by. More lights. W3 coming in. 64k. Oh my gosh, it's pretty full with that E6M over there. Alright, back on. Wow, this underpass is kind of, kind of, uh, isn't it? We need to go back to the other side, so that's why. Straight up to Hanyu Mai Port. I've never been there, so that's why first time using it. And we will connect with Line Two of Shenzhen Metro on the other side at Liantang Checkpoint Station. But I will do a full full journey real fast on line eight, which is basically a straight through service with line two. But they just break it up in the middle, which is so dumb because they don't ever have any trains will terminate just with the line eight, which every single train will run through it. So why not just call it line two? Because they have been extending it so many times, so why not just continue extending it as line two instead of actually building another line, which is stupid. Considering every single train will be running through it, just like Mandarin Jundalo, but. Yeah. So we do a full journey on line eight. Line eight is pretty short right now. If you don't count the express, I mean the straight through part, it only has seven stops, seven stations for line eight. So a quick full journey on that one. But they will they will extend line eight, of course, in the future to a little bit further area. So, but after that we'll do a line two journey. We'll do a line five journey. We'll do a line fourteen journey. Line fourteen, I've never tried, so that's why line two and line five I've taken before. Line eight, not yet, but line two and line five, yes. We、we'll、do a line fourteen down to the、uh, one of the biggest station of the whole system. We、we'll、take another new line, and we、we'll、take another one over, and then we、we'll、go back down to Guomao at the end of the day, because Guomao, I need to pick up things for my dad, so that's why. Okay. Car died in the middle of the road. Unfortunate. East Rail Line track is next to us here. Is it? No, definitely not. Our East Rail Line takes all the way over there, inside the bush. And here we are, Sha Tao Kok, Heng Yun Wai Port. Sha Tao Kok is still a closed area, so I can't go there. But Heng Yun Wai Port, if you're crossing the border, you of course you can use it. So that's why we'll be using it today. And the train line is next to us now on that side. Yep, we're taking Longshan Tunnel. Longshan Tunnel is also long, so let's do it. Trying not to talk too much now. My hands are getting a little itchy over here. Holy crap! We、we'll、head up to the tunnel. 
continue straight, we'll be finding in Shrink Shui. Here we are. Up. Forty-five minutes in right now. Fortunately, these buses are not really the city flyer buses, so they're just using some of the uh, newly, the newer generation of these of uh, these uh, Alexander Dennis MMC buses that they actually have some sort of a luggage rack at the bottom so but the seats are just basic seats they're not the city flyers upgraded seats so okay. 79x also take this path and also 78x those goes to Queen's Hill Queen's Hill for city bus but we're not going to turn into Fanning, we'll continue our way straight to north. We'll go to Taku Lang and then we'll go through. We're not going through the border, we're still in Hong Kong. This bus can only actually go around in Hong Kong, so that's why it will be just terminating at the control point. And then I will walk over. My dad asked me to try the contactless e channel for mainland side I, I i always can do the hong kong one but i don't know what i can do the china one so it's just if i cannot do the china one then it's going to be annoying so because <laughs> then the the uh, the uh, the the uh, the uh, the the uh, the the uh, the uh, the uh, uh, was that one called oh my gosh the the officers there we go the officers actually need to come over and manually help me which is going to be awkward so i'd rather just do a manual check instead of actually the contactless one. This is a long tunnel. Oh my gosh. This is my second time using Longshan Tunnel. Now it is prohibited to change lanes. You can see it's double double lines so that's why you cannot change lanes before you enter the tunnel you have to change lanes if you want to go to the lanes there are always signs before you enter the tunnel to show you which lane you should take for which spot so that's why you cannot change lanes as soon as you get as soon as you enter if you have got in the wrong lane then you have to just take the wrong exit wow we're not even there yet I think we're almost there, we're turning already, so should be almost getting out. Yep, we're getting out right here. Yep. Outside. Finish the tunnel now. Yep, here we are. On to the other end. This turn though, what the hell? And here we are, outside. We're 
continue straight. I think we'll take another tunnel. 78X goes here, and all of the routes go to Queens Hill. We we'll go here. Yeah, we're gonna take another tunnel. <laughs> oh man, another tunnel. <laughs> yep, the Queens Hill route will go down right here. And also, we have Sha Tao Kok minibuses will go that way to Sha Tao Kok. And we take another tunnel. What is this tunnel? Cheng Shan Tunnel. Wow, another tunnel. Oh my gosh. Cheng Shan Tunnel. Yeah, more tunnels. <laughs> <laughs> More tunnels. Ooh. Wait, this is a short tunnel, is it? Oh yeah, this is a short tunnel. <laughs> wow. That's one of the shortest tunnels, Jesus. What the hell? I can see Shenzhen in the background because high high rise buildings once again appeared. So that's just basically the mainland. Can we see some 79Ks driving at the bottom? So we have high rise buildings at the back, that's basically Shenzhen. So Because over here in Hong Kong, there shouldn't be any high-rise buildings. Look at all the high-rise buildings. That's just basically Shenzhen, so. Now I think these buildings right here though, these buildings right here, these these three right there and also these over here, I think this is Hong Kong because I think there are some newly built buildings over here. I think these are Hong Kong, I'm not so sure, but the ones across definitely not over that way, definitely Shenzhen over that way for sure, but I don't know whether these are Hong Kong or also these are China, I'm not so sure, hang on. Ah, uh, those are across the border, isn't it? Yeah, those are across the border. <laughs> those should be across the border, yeah? Uh, I just need to see whether there are some simplified Chinese characters on them. If there are simplified Chinese characters, that means it's Shenzhen. Uh, I'm not so sure. We're not at the border yet. Those things over there. Mm. Uh, let's see. I'm just looking at the cars over there. Is that is that is that Shenzhen over there? Oh yeah, that's Shenzhen for sure. Yeah, all of those buildings are just Shenzhen, so that's why. Yep. Yep, those are just that. That's just China over there. Yep, that's just China over there all of the characters and here we are originally this is only for cars and lorries and all that trucks to go over yes that's just Shenzhen over there <laughs> yeah that's just Shenzhen all of these buildings are just Shenzhen over there so and made it to the bus terminus public transport interchange 
Oh yeah, yeah, that's definitely just sh that's just definitely Shenzhen over there. Made it to Hunyun Wai Port. Oh my gosh, we got a we got a we got a newer first bus bus over here. What route is running on that one? Wow, that is some that is a uh, basically we have Shenzhen over there. B7. Made it to Hunyun Wai Port. <laughs> we got a white egg over there. Wow. Okay. Here we are. Dropping off right here. And off, he's uh, turned off the desk though now. He opened the front door just to also actually let passengers to get off because what's the point? No worries of doing that, and there goes the door close. And here we are, Hernyu White Port. I have never been here before, so that's why I just gotta follow all these guys to cross over safely. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to like and subscribe, click the bell so that you can get notifications when I post. Fun route, definitely. Check out the links in the description down below of my other channels and my Instagram. Click on these videos up top, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!